Presidential Justice Department memo obtained by NBC News reveals that the U.S. government can order the killing of any American citizen believed to be associated with al-Qaeda. So Fox News senior judicial analyst Andrew Napolitano is here. Going to hear a lot of talk about this with the CIA confirmation hearings uh, beginning for the new director to be, John Brennan, if he's confirmed. Um, so your take on what we've been hearing about drones and the legality of them. Well, federal judges and ordinary citizens have been seeking the legal research on which the government has relied for its claimed authority that the president can kill Americans overseas if he believes that they are in imminent danger of harming the United States national security. And the government has resisted this uh, in, in every forum. And in most forums, it has succeeded in persuading federal judges this information can't be revealed because it'll violate national security secrets. Suddenly it shows up in an NBC newsroom earlier this week. It could only have come from a governmental source. Sure. Uh, so they really have made fools of the federal judges who've spent hours and days and weeks struggling over the laws involved here. The document itself uh, is breathtaking and chilling uh, in the cavalier way in which it suggests that the president, actually it doesn't even say the president, guys. It says any informed, high-level U.S. government official can strip an American of his or her constitutional protections and order the killing of that American if the person is overseas, if it's difficult to arrest that person, and, that's and not if it's likely they're going to harm national security. Not defined, right, who that official would be. Oh, no, that's it's a, not right. defined. Imminent yeah. is not defined. Danger is not defined. Right. This is the power claimed by kings and tyrants. This is about as un-American a power as one could imagine. This is in direct defiance of the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, which guarantees due process, a jury trial, before the government can take your life or liberty. This is in defiance of federal law, of state laws, and of treaties to which the United States is a party. How does this move in the court system, you think? Well, How is it fault? Th that's, that's a very interesting question, Dagan. All, all this came about when the president dispatched drones to kill New Mexico-born, admitted al-Qaeda-affiliated Anwar al-Awlaki, New Mexico-born, an American citizen. And he sent a follow-up drone to kill Mr. Alaki's 16-year-old Colorado-born American citizen's son, and the friend's American citizen's 16-year and the son's American six, American 16-year-old friend. Their grandfather filed a lawsuit to enjoin the president from killing them before the drones were, were sent. Mm -hmm. And a federal judge said, well, there's no standing here. How do I know what the president's going to do? You can't stop the president from breaking the law in the future because the Justice Department claims the president always obeys the law. Now that lawsuit has been revived because we now know that the president admits that he did send the drones to kill them. So in the context of a lawsuit, right. a federal, by, by uh, survivors, a federal judge, to get to the answer to your question, may decide whether or not the government can do this. Now, I submit the Supreme Court has already decided it, because the Supreme Court basically told the Bush administration uh, in five or six Supreme Court opinions, the most notable of which is Hamdi, saying you just can't take a person and try them before some cockamamie court. It's got to be a court authorized by the right. Constitution. Mm -hmm. And the Supreme Court said the sort of trust us argument that the government says doesn't wash because the Constitution right. won't let it wash. You're going to go today, but this reunion, as I said at the outset, much more on this in the next few days. Judge, thanks. Absolutely. Pleasure. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.